Hi guys, it's me, Gwenny, back with another video. So this video is going to be um, Amazon haul. Um, so I got some stuff from Amazon that I wanted to share with you guys before I um, start using them. So these are just some items. Some of the items are um, not really stationary, but, um, well, there's at least one item that's not stationary, but the rest of them are kind of like, um, there's at least some that I'm going to use for next year. But, um, so this is just like a small Amazon haul. Um, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Gwenny, also known as K Anything Fangirl. And I'm a sticker addict, washi tape addict, stationery addict, K-pop, drama fan, Asian drama fan, a bookworm, a gamer, sorts, a collector, actually more of a hoarder, and welcome to my channel. So like I said, um, these are just some items that I got from Amazon. I am not really sure if I'm going to include other items in this haul video. Um, because I think this is going to be enough for at least a decent regular video. But anyways, um, instead of listening to me ramble on, I will see you in the next clip. Okay, so I'll start with the non-stationary items. So, I found this thing on Amazon. It says, Privacy Made Possible Cat Lovers Webcam Covers. I usually use just like a washi tape to cover up my webcam. I don't know, I get a little bit uh, paranoid about webcams and stuff like that so i got this one because i thought it would be cute i'm not sure if it's gonna work um properly i think uh when i ordered this i got like a note from the seller to make sure that um when i stick this on my webcam to leave it alone for like 24 hours or something otherwise it's gonna fall off but i saw this one and i thought it was really really cute because of the kitties I love the side-eyeing one, and this winking one, and the nerdy one, and then this one. I really love all these cute cats. So, I can't wait to try this out on my laptop. So, that's the only non-stationary one. And then I also got more of these. So, these are um, washi cards. So, I think there's like 40 of them in here, and I usually use them... Sometimes I make my own washi cards. Other times I do like using them for like, um, for example, some of the washi tape that I hauled not too long ago. The Simply Gilded one. So I like putting them here and then putting the rest of the washi tape in the drawers. And then these ones, I'll keep it out and I can use them for my uh, spreads and stuff like that. So I like using these. Um, I think they're made from PVC. And I like using them for washi samples and stuff like that. Sometimes I also use these for sending out um, washi samples to friends. So I got more of these. Um, and I'm not going to take them out because they're just regular PVC paper. Uh, what do you call this? Regular PVC plastic. And then um, these ones right here, I got two journals um so these are gonna be my bullet journal for next year for um 2024 so the bullet journal that i have is from the same company but i don't know if this is the same brand i think the one that i got was a little bit thicker so this is sort of like my bullet journal it's actually i don't do that much journaling in this one I just use these for collecting pictures and stuff so it has gotten really really chunky so um, I think I've, I'll be able to use this for the whole year but I think these ones are not as thick as this one so these might be um, two of them for next year I guess I'll have to wait and see but this is the one for 2023, and as you can see, it's really, really chunky. Even if I take out all these random stuff that I've stuck on here, it's still going to be like a big, big chunk. Let me see if I can do that. Um, 
yeah, even if I took out all the other excess stuff, it's still like really chunky. I can barely close it. It's a good thing it has like this elastic so that I can cover it up like this. But this is my 2023, um, kind of like, um, I use it as memory keeping. It's like, um, I don't do much journaling inside because I do the journaling part in my Hobonichi Cousin. Um, so these ones are mostly like pictures. And I did, ha I do have a video of me kind of like showing up, kind of like the setup of this one. But like I said, it's just like mostly uh, pictures of this year and all that stuff. So if you kind of want to flip through of it, I can do that. Uh, leave me in a comment in the comment section below. But maybe when it's all filled up. I have, I still sort of need to print out pictures for October. But I have printed out all the pictures for the rest of the months. But I, like I said, I need to do October. So that is my planner for 2023. So this one, I decided to buy a new bullet journals for 2024. So this one is um, uh, the same brand, I think. It's the Retasi dotted uh, notebook. It says high quality paper, 120 GSM. Um hardcover and there's two of them so i have a purple one and a black one and let me show you the inside if i can open it and i cannot wait to kind of like put stickers on the cover like i did with the 2023 one so like this one like i said is a little bit thinner i think than the one that i just showed you so i might need both notebooks for next year um, but this is what the notebook looks like. It comes with an elastic right here. And it does have a pen loop. This is the inside. Oh, no. Oh, wait. No. Okay. I got scared for a little bit. I thought it was like, no, I did not want lined paper. But this one is actually dot grid notebook. It just has a table of contents. So the one that I showed you does not have table of contents. This one does not have a table of contents. These are just regular bullet journal notebooks. Like I said, I still have to fill it up. Um, but I guess this one is a little bit more uh, set up. So uh, I think a regular bullet journal would have like a table of content page. So this would be interesting. And these ones are actually numbered pages. Does it have, like, uh, perforated pages in the back? No, it does not. Oh, no. So I won't be able to cut off pages. Or maybe I can cut off some of these. But I, it, normally, like, this one, I think, at the very back of this journal, I do have some perforated pages. Yeah. I have, like, perforated pages right here. So I can tear it off if I need to, if I make a mistake. But this one doesn't have that. So that's going to be interesting. I'm going to have to make sure that I don't make a mistake. But it's the same type of paper as the last one. And you can kind of see the dots. Um, it has a pocket in here. And like I said, it has like the strap. And I got two of them. So one purple one and one black one. So I'll have to check and see if I'm going to need both of them or not. But I am going to save both of them for 2023 just in case. So before I use this teal one for 20... Not 2024. Before I use the teal one for 2023, most of my bullet journals are actually two journals per year. But this year is, I think, the first time that I'm actually using one journal for the whole year. So we'll see how that goes. So that is the journal that I got. Set that aside. So the last thing that I have is this 150 sheets of scrapbook paper. So I got this one because um, I think in my last video or the video before that, 
I showed you some of the pages that me and my sister did when she came to visit. So I'm actually going to be seeing her again. And I thought I need to get more sort of like vintage papers. So I got this one. So this one says 150 sheets of scrapbook paper. I got these. Like I said, these are all from Amazon. And I will try to link them in the description box below, or at least write down which ones I got. Um, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six sty uh, styles of paper. So it's just regular vintage paper. And I want to say there's at least two of each. No, it's not. But these are some of the stuff that I got. So these ones look like pictures of paintings. Oh, that's not cool. That's, there's a watermark on that one. That's not cool. So that's going to be one of those paintings that's going to be torn off. These are so pretty. Just gonna flip through this quickly. There's Starry Night. Some of these, I think, are parts of the same painting, maybe? I don't know. So those are one set of pictures. And then these are the other ones. I'm just going to take them out of the packaging and just flip through them. Yeah, I do not like feeling sick. So this one looks like astronomy is astronomy the study of stars i think it is constellations and stuff this one says that the sun warm your soul let the moon ease your mind that is cool this one is a map this one looks like pages from a book Am I? Do I have this backwards? Maybe. I don't know what we're going to make of these, but I'm going to bring this one um, when I see my sister again and see which ones we can use. I have to check and see. Some of this look really cool. I like the maps and these ones. And then this one is, I think these are all sort of like music sheets. They look like music sheets. Sorry, you can hear me sniffling in the background. Have thine own way, Lord. Bonnie Robin Redbreast. Don't think I've heard of that one. Yikes, look at all these notes. That's too, too hard. <laughs> This one looks like music sheets. The ballad singers summons to her lover. Huh, interesting. Moonlight and fairies. Good Christian men rejoice. Love's old sweet song. I don't think I've ever heard of these, but then again, these are supposed to be vintage papers, so these are supposed to be like really old songs or songs from long ago 
I guess it's supposed to be like um, pages, copy of pages from books from a long, long time ago. November's Feast, Angel of Dreams. I think I had like piano lessons when I was younger for like a few days and then I was taken out of it silent night so I never really learned how to play piano I do like touching the piano keys but don't ask me to play piano because I don't know how so this one looks like newspaper pages audacious burglary Bond Street jewelers in fear Titanic sinking no lives lost yeah right um, the London Chronicle, Republican One ads, the Evening Herald, Washington Times, rated jobs increased. Does anybody still read newspapers? We used to get the Sunday ones, but not anymore just so interesting I bet young ones are like newspapers what is what is that I remember reading newspapers a long time ago and using newspapers for projects and stuff now you have Google you can just search for everything online I remember in college, I think there's at least one picture of me when I was in college where I had I brought the newspaper to to class. We were reading it while waiting for um for the teacher to come in. Put your finger on any car trouble in a jiffy. That is so funny. So those are that one, and this one looks like old menus maybe. This one says dinner. Consomme of tomatoes with rice, 30. Bisque of oysters. Uh, that is not, I don't know what language that is. This looks like an old library card. Library card. This looks like a letter for Robert Pepperkorn. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Les voleurs des savons. I don't know. I don't speak French. Metropolitan Hotel. And I I can read some of these words. This one I cannot read. So these are just random papers that you can tear and put on your journal, which I have enjoyed doing with my sister. And these ones, I won't, I don't think I'll have trouble tearing them because a lot of them are just like for backgrounds and stuff like that. The other papers that we used when me and my sister were trying to do it, um, they kind of had like designs that I kind of wanted to keep so I didn't end up tearing any of them I may have cut one or two but I didn't tear any of them so these ones are I think mostly butterflies and flowers this one is interesting these ones are flowers mushrooms and frogs these more butterflies I love the butterfly ones I don't know I gravitate to anything that has butterflies uh, veggies more butterflies snakes oh my sister would love this one she loves snakes trees more but butterflies seashells mushrooms uh, dragonflies um, 
fruits and veggies. More flowers. Mushrooms. And that is all of the 150 sheets of scrapbook paper that I got from Amazon. So it's a short video for this haul video. Um, trying to kind of like, sorry, trying to kind of like space out my video so I'll have enough for the rest of the year since I'm not shopping as much. Well, I say I'm not, but I'm actually like just waiting for the stuff that I bought. But anyways, if you got to this part of the video, thank you so much for watching, for clicking on this video. If you got to this part of the video, thank you so much for watching and listening to me ramble on. I am still under the weather. This is actually like, I filmed like two videos uh, consecutively. The one that I filmed before this, you're going to see after. I know, it's weird. I just like, my brain is not all there just because like i said i'm not feeling well but anyways thank you so much for watching if you like this video consider giving it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this consider subscribing to my channel like i said i will write down the description of these things on the description box below i don't know if i can do the link because normally when i try to copy a link for amazon it's like really really long and I don't want to put that on my um, description box. So I'm just going to try and write down the names of it. And then you can just type it into the search bar on Amazon. And it'll probably send you to where I got all of these items from. So that is it for this haul video. Um, like I said, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.